Hi everybody, I'm Vance. You probably know me as Ventriloquist Vance from my Ventriloquist Vance channel here on YouTube. Oh, and if you want to watch, you want to watch some of the videos on that channel, the link to the channel will be in the description box below. Alright, now, I'm making this video because a few weeks ago I recently received a copy of a newspaper article from the Osceola Sentinel, and it was Friday's paper, December 5th, 2014, and it's pretty outrageous from what I've read, and I meant to make this protest video against it, but I've recently been sick for the last two weeks, a severe cold, so I, I didn't really have the time, not to mention the energy, to make this video and protest. So, alright, so I'm going to be reading from this newspaper article, and it's the Satanic Temple display will have spot in Florida Capitol this year. New service of Florida. Right, Tallahassee. Unlike last year, a satanic temple display will be officially welcomed inside Florida's capital during the holiday season. And Festivus, I hope I pronounced that name right, there are some words and names that I do have a hard time pronouncing, so they may not sound right in this video, so please bear with me. And Festivus, a non-commercial festival for the rest of us, will be back as a six-foot stack of empty beer cans. Also expected is a pair of nativity scenes. The Florida Department of Management Services this week approved a holiday display from the Satanic Temple, which a year ago was rejected because the agency said it was grossly offensive. The temple's entry was one of five displays approved to be put up in the first floor rotunda of the Capitol for the holiday period. <clears throat> Two additional requested displays, including one to mark the sitcom-created Festivus holiday, are pending final approval. The state agency offered no explanation with its approval of displays. John Tufts, a spokesman for Governor Rick Scott, deferred comment to the department. Lucien Greaves, spokesman for the Satanic Temple, said in an email that the difference seems to be in the fact that this time around we arrived with lawyers. The temple which threatened to sue after being rejected last year will put up its display December 22nd. It will banner the phrase Happy Holidays from the Satanic Temple atop a diora diorama of an angel falling into hell. We hope that this holiday season everybody can put their religious differences aside and respect that the celebration spirit of responsible hedonism is available to all. Grieve said in the email, Pam Olson, president of the Florida Prayer Network, questioned the motives of people are putting up displays in reaction to the Florida Prayer Network's introduction of a nativity scene into the Capitol last year. This is not a religious endorsement by our state government. It's freedom of religion and freedom of speech. And we will all be up there, Olson said. But are they really putting them up to wish everyone a happy holiday from the atheist and the Satanist? Or are they up there to protest baby Jesus? Well, speaking as a conservative Christian, I would say they are up there to protest against baby Jesus. All right. Now... I am one for freedom of religion as much as the next guy, you know, I'm a full supporter of the First Amendment, but we're talking about Satan. This is supposed to be a monstrous being that, according to Christian doctrine and Christian scripture, is out to destroy the image of God, which is us, mankind. And like I said, I'm one for freedom of religion, but this is, this is taking things to the extreme. And speaking as a conservative Christian, this should not even be happening, you know. And also speaking as a conservative Christian with freedom of speech, it shouldn't even be Happy Holidays, it should be Merry Christmas. Jesus is the reason for the season. It is because of Jesus we celebrate the Christmas season. We are celebrating the birth of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, who came down to earth in the flesh to die on the cross to pay for our sins. And it's supposed to be a happy season. And these people are honoring Satan. Satan, who is the enemy of Jesus, who is out to destroy mankind. And like I said, I am one for freedom of religion. I do believe, as a liberal humanitarian, you have the right to practice whatever religion you want to practice. But why do you want to worship a being 
who is a usually portrayed as a demonic creature and two is out to destroy the souls of God's creatures and it just makes no sense to me and for the people who back down the people who back down because they were being threatened to be sued I'm sorry to say this but you people just don't have a backbone you are not strong you are weak I'm sorry to be so critical but that's the truth for those of you who back down and allow this to happen you're weak where are our Christian where are the where are our Christian brothers and sisters in all of this you know those who stand up and say this is wrong Catholic priests, Orthodox priests, Protestant ministers, non-denominational pastors, where are you guys? Why isn't anyone standing up to say, this is wrong? Where are you guys? It's because we have backed down that this is happening. We decided to stay neutral, and we decided to be politically correct. And that has allowed these people the opportunity to do this stuff. It's just, this isn't right. And yes, we are a freedom of religion country, you know? But basically, when our forefathers came to this country, the original purpose for freedom of religion was for us to, to practice the Christian religion without fear of being persecuted. Because back in Europe, in England, you know, in ancient times, you know, we were always criticized and persecuted because we all practiced Christianity the way that we saw it fit, you know? Like... A bishop named Hugh Latimer, you know, he was against transubstantiation, which is the Roman Catholic doctrine that the, that the bread and wine literally become the body and blood of Christ. He didn't believe that. I'm not sure exactly what his beliefs were about that. You know, he may believe that they, that the bread and wine spiritually become the body and blood of Christ, or that the body, I mean, the bread and the wine are symbolic of the body and blood of Christ. Whatever his beliefs are, you know, that's irrelevant right now. What I'm trying to say is that he refused the Roman Catholic doctrine of transubstantiation. And because of that, they burned him on the stake for that. They burned a man on the stake for his beliefs. And that's what, that's what freedom of religion is all about. It's about us having the freedom to believe what we want to believe, what we believe to be true, without fear of being persecuted. Now, no matter what, we're going to be persecuted no matter what. But also, we want to ex escape execution. Because even our own Christian brothers and sisters have made us out to be martyrs. Not just the pagans, like Emperor Nero, who was a huge critic to Christianity, but even our own brothers and sisters in Christ. That's pretty much all that I have to say for this. I hope and pray that you will take this to heart. And all I just have to say is, God bless you, and Merry Christmas. Not Happy Holidays. Merry Christmas.